How much money do you think Instagram creators make in a month? 1 lakh, 2 lakhs, 20 lakhs? And how do you calculate who makes how much? Is it all about views? Because I got 1 million on this Instagram reel. Now as a beginner, you would assume that 1 million people saw this reel, but you're wrong because these are actually the number of plays. 1 million plays and 1 million viewers are very very different. If a user watches my reel 10 times, I will get 10 plays. That is why short form comedy content always gets more plays on Instagram because people watch them again and again and also show it to their friends on phone. But does that mean comedy creators always make a lot of money? No. Because this game is not just about followers or views. And when I was 19 there was like a 3 and a half lakh rupee paycheck that came in every month. I finished a thousand days. Three years in, I was making eighty thousand dollars a month. Anywhere between ten to twelve lakhs a month. Content creation is slowly becoming one of the most well-paying careers ever. You work from your house. There is fame, attention, party invites, but that is only for those who make it. Initially, the monthly earnings of a creator might be three times more than a business or a job, but in most cases. the shelf life of a creator is often one third of a business so in this video i'll tell you how i make money as a content creator and the biggest myths people have about content money in general to make sure you don't make the same mistakes i did so without further ado let's get started now there are three major ways to get paid on instagram number 1 promoting a brand or a product in your reel stories or broadcast community this is the major source of income for majority of creators instagram in india does not pay for views so even if you get 1 million plays 1 million views it doesn't mean that instagram will pay you for something in india right now youtube on the other hand does pay you for views on instagram you get paid by brands for promoting them for me 50% of my content income comes from paid reels number 2 Once you hit 150k on Instagram, you get paid invites to attend product launches, restaurant openings and clubs. For me, this is barely 5% of my content income. This number is very very high for lifestyle creators because a lot of clothing and FMCG brands have events all throughout the year. In fact, one of my friends, Aman Kultia, runs this company called A-List and I think he has thousands of influencers across our country who get access to the best clubs and restaurants and product packages, everything just because of their social media distribution. Number 3, affiliate income. A lot of brands say that we can't pay you money up front, but if you promote our product via this specific link, which is called a UTM link, We will track how many people bought our product from your referral and once they get to know that how many people bought from you they pay you between 15 to 20% commission on each sale. There is number 4 as well which is very rare but something that I am focusing on that is corporate trainings and workshops which is very very common for business creators and infotainment creators but not much for lifestyle creators or entertainers or comedians. Comedians on the other hand get a lot of corporate startup gigs but that is a discussion that we'll have in another video. I now get invited by big brands to train their teams on design and AI so my content has become a funnel for my professional services. Right now 50% of my income comes from these corporate workshops but it's super difficult to get these clients especially at the start of my career. Even for me it is very very chaotic, very very difficult to consistently have these clients. Comment below which one of these four were unknown to you and how much do you think a 100k lifestyle creator on Instagram gets paid for them. Now, when I started out, I was all alone. I didn't have a team. So I needed to be really really good at managing my tasks and time. If you are looking for a free tool that can help you manage your tasks, teams and work in general, then I would recommend you to check out Odoo's free project manager. Let me give you a quick tour. You simply need to go to odoo.com, then create your free account and select their project app. Once you're logged in, this is how it looks like. So at the very first I have my dashboard and I'm basically splitting all of my work into three projects. So we have LinkedIn, then my own upskilling and then YouTube. Now let me show you how we manage our YouTube. So the first view you see right now is the Kanban view. Basically there are different stages of our work when we create content. So there is research, recording, editing, schedule and then if it is released then it goes to the last column. Basically I can click on new and that would add a new task in my researching tab and let's just say it would be learn 
about latest AI tools, right? And I can add it. So this was around projects and you can have multiple uh, ways to look at these projects, right? So if I go here and come back to my YouTube planning, I can simply switch from Kanban to a list view that gives me a quick overview of everything that these people need to do. Uh, there is also a Gantt chart where I can scan through the timelines of each of these things. There is calendar view. If there are different tasks across different places in the world, I can do that as well. So there is so much that you can customize. And if you want to maintain your own checklist, your own list of things to do, I have sort of segregated it into inbox today, this week and this month. So basically if I have write scripts, I can move it to today or to this week. You can also do it today, tomorrow completed, not required, not important. So this is a very, very simple tool where you can have all of your major projects, all of your team members align. And this is how the template looks like when you start from scratch. So you first need to add your stages. So maybe one is your research stage. I can add that. I can also add writing stage. And actually let's just call it writing and add it here. And then you can add your tasks one by one. So let's just say productivity topics and then just add it and sort of switch it from one place to another. So if you're trying to upskill yourself or maybe build a small business, or even if as a content creator, you're trying to make the most of your time, Odoo has tons of other tools as well that are all available at one fixed monthly fee. But you can use their project management tool for free since the first app of Odoo is free for lifetime with unlimited hosting and support. So you can manage multiple tasks easily without forgetting anything important. You'll find the link in description. Let's get back to our video. Now, please note that out of everything I earn as a content creator, I have to pay 20% commission to the agency who brings this deal. Because as a beginner, I do not have direct connections to these big brands. Sometimes there are two agencies involved. So I end up giving almost 30 to 40% in just commissions. Then from that remaining 60%, I have to pay my tax, salaries of my five member team, pay for all the travel, subscriptions, etc. And if there's anything that gets messed up in my gadgets or in my systems in general, then I have to pay the price for it. So even though content creation looks very flashy, it only works out when you work at scale. If you have great distribution, which means high number of followers, things work out well. Otherwise, it's super tough. Not to mention the ever rising competition and saturation in the market that we see on a day to day basis. So the niche that you operate in your total addressable market, which is the number of people interested in what you have to say matters a lot. Now, most people think that your income as a content creator is directly proportional to the number of followers. That is why most beginner creators go for clickbaits and optimize for attention. Whereas in reality, you should optimize for respect. To explain this phrase, I'll break down two very popular myths that stop people from making good content money. Number one, you get paid well if you have a lot of followers. And number two, you need to be an expert in your subject to become a creator. All of these are wrong. Let's break them down one by one. Myth number one, you get paid well if you have a lot of followers. Now let's understand this with a proper case study. Let's assume there are two creators, Nikhil and Samir. Each of them has 250k followers on Instagram. Nikhil creates content on tech reviews, while Samir creates comedy content. Nikhil's reels get 80 to 120k plays, not viewers. I'm going to use the word plays now because that is the accurate term. And his content has a very targeted audience. Samir's comedy reels go as high as 2 million or 5 million or even 10 million. But those 10 million plays can be from anyone because anyone can enjoy funny content. Now let's assume there is a tech brand who wants to promote their latest laptop. For this tech brand, spending on Nikhil's reel is way more sensible than Samir because they know Nikhil's audience is naturally interested in tech. That's why more than the number of followers, you need to check these three metrics. Who is following you, which comes under your demographic section, both on Instagram and YouTube. And for example, this is how it looks for me. This is how it looks for my Instagram. And this is how it looks for my YouTube. You get all of this data from YouTube studio. So number one is your audience demographic. Number two, how many of them engage with you regularly? If you have hundred K followers, how many of these people are regularly viewing your content? And number three, for how long do they watch your content? This is checked by average view duration or AVD. 
Let me know in the comments if you'd like a detailed tutorial on Instagram insights or YouTube analytics because it's a very very important subject and very few people talk about it clearly. So instead of saying you get paid well if you have a lot of followers, I will say you get paid when you have these three things. A lot of followers from a demographic that is relevant to your niche and has purchasing power. Number two, regular engagement and trust from your followers. And number three, strong average view duration. More than asking how many people watch you, the real question is who watches you and for how long they watch you and what do they think about you. And I keep taking so much feedback from our Instagram broadcast community just to optimize for this. By the way, if you haven't joined our free Instagram broadcast community, you're missing out on a lot. I share so much content and pictures there that is never uploaded anywhere else. So you can scan this QR code to join it for free. If this is clear, let's move on to myth number two, that you need to become an expert to become a creator. See, this one is very simple. If you are a beginner, you should aim for becoming a curator and not a creator. Sahil Bloom started as a curator of good content. He would collect interesting insights and write about them. Spending one to two years as a curator gives you time to upscale yourself and eventually come to a point where you can shift to being a creator. All you need to do is follow this six month plan and it takes six months for sure folks like nothing happens in one or two months and to get to a significant level of income when I say significant which means one and a half to two lakh rupees income a month you need to spend at least one and a half years doing these things properly even if you do it part time it does take around one and a half two years for sure simply because there are too many competitors and you need to be good in order to stand out. See, this is how the plan looks like. Pick a subject you are naturally interested about. If it is closely related to upskilling, tech, finance, business or entertainment, then things will be easy for you because there are many channels to take inspiration from. For me, things were very tricky because I was first making content around UX and then around AI. And at that point, there were very, very few players. In UX, there were no players, to be honest, like three, four players in total. In AI, now I'm seeing a lot of people. So there is a lot of inspiration, but it's always better to have some domain which has a lot of TAM, which is total addressable market. Because when your TAM is high, you already have a lot of competition and it's just easy to, you know, recognize all the patterns and then build on top of what other people have already solved for. Then spend one hour daily learning and documenting your thoughts and do this for at least two to three months. Minimum two to three months you need to learn and document. Once you have learned and explored for two to three months, post about what you're learning on LinkedIn and X. And please be real about it. Please don't use chat GPT or any other tool to write your content. Use AI for your first draft not your last. Use it to get pointers and then build on top of it. Then start as a text based curator. Don't go for video in your first attempt. It is too complicated to start as a video creator if you have no experience in editing or just being a shy person in general. It's just better to start with text based curator, which means you start making content on LinkedIn and repurpose the same content on X. And then you can take screenshots of your tweets and then make a carousal out of it and put them on Instagram. Please make sure you have a new page for all of these things on Instagram because you don't want to mix your own personal life with your own public account. Once you become good at text based curation, which basically means once you become good at writing hooks and just become a better writer in general, invest in a good mic. Don't go for a fancy setup. Don't go for a fancy camera. Just go for a good mic. I use a HyperX solo cast mic. This is not a paid recommendation. I got it as a gift from HP and I absolutely loved it. I absolutely love it. Never bought anything else. For outdoor shoots, I have a Rode Go 2. But majority of my friends have bought the latest DJI wireless mic. Unfortunately, I do not have that kind of a budget right now. But if I had extra money, I would totally go for the DJI mic. I think it's incredible. After your fourth month, learn hook writing in detail. Like the more you get better at hooks, the better it is. And I will paste a lot of links in the description that can teach you how to write better hooks. They will really, really help you specifically if you start as a text based curator. Once you have figured out hook writing, start with short form content on Instagram and upload the same videos on YouTube shots and LinkedIn. 
please make sure that your audio is clear and you speak confidently and spend at least two months writing and editing yourself you can always download those teleprompter apps otherwise you can invest in your own teleprompter as well so i use it uh, from this company called desview but it's pretty expensive you can always rely on your basic laptop there are many teleprompter apps and websites that help you achieve the same output and i would strongly recommend learning either adobe premiere pro or Final Cut Pro for editing. Let me know in the comments if you want a video editing playlist as well. I have been editing videos since I was in class 10th. And I really enjoy video editing. It's just that I've never spoken about it. All of my original videos from two years ago were edited by me. Now I have very, very helpful editors on my team. But if you want to learn video editing, let me know if you want a dedicated course on it. I would be happy to share my top lessons. So. Before we go too deep, it's very important that we quickly revise what we learned today. Number one, we understood that creator income is less about how many people see you and more about who sees you and for how long they see you. Number two, it's best to start as a curator and not a creator. Number three, begin with text-based platforms and eventually shift to short form video. Number four, once you crack short form, then go to long form. By the way, all of this advice will not work for everyone. The subject is really, really nuanced. We are already way beyond the time limit. That's why I'm cutting it short. But I would strongly recommend you folks to watch more videos. Don't just rely on what I am saying. I've just sort of compiled all of my important lessons here and I will be uploading more videos. Just let me know in the comment section if you want me to dig deeper in content creation and content money and personal branding in general. And please make sure that you focus on hook writing, sound quality and substance. substance means how meaningful your content is because you need to make sense otherwise just flashy backgrounds or fancy editing will not help you win in the long term people are bored of it and people now want core substance and in the end give yourself at least four to six months and around 15 to 20 videos minimum before you judge your progress follow this checklist for six to eight months and trust me you will build solid momentum I'll make a separate video on YouTube content as well because we are already way ahead of the time limit. But let me know in the comments if you want me to speak about Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube. I just want to have a quick feedback on what you folks are interested in. If you are starting on Instagram, I have already made a very, very detailed video on how you can hit 100K followers. It's a no BS guide. It's on my YouTube channel. You'll find the link to that video in description. Make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we regularly come up with free courses on creativity and tech. You can learn AI for free by visiting howtoprompt.in and UX design for free by visiting learnuiux.in. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Anch Mehra signing out. If you enjoyed this video, then do check out this video of the same series. I am sure that it will help you even more.